Welcome everybody, this is Nerdsomnia and this is a time-lapse video for the Halo Ground Command Warthogs. Uh, total paint time for these two minis, uh, 4 hours and 8 minutes. I said that weird, 4 hours and 8 minutes. Uh, paint use for these uh, Warthogs, the Vallejo Negro Black and Blanco White Primer, Cadmium Skin, Charred Brown, Escarpina and Goblin Green, Ghost Grey, Heavy Charcoal, Hot Orange, Plata Silver, Bright Bronze, and of course Thinner Medium. Uh, washes are GW's Agrax Earth Shade and Athonian Camo Shade. Uh, the source picture on the card was not very inspiring as such. Uh, it looked like all I needed was to paint everything black and uh, dark green. So similarly to the ghost, I wanted it more vibrant, accented with all the details going on with uh, the mini. The Warthogs came in uh, multiple separate pieces. Four wheels, one under tray, one main body, one bumper, one driver, one hood, one turret and the turret operator. Just way too many parts for a single miniature. So I did some groundwork before the video, glued the wheels to the under tray, glued the driver to the bumper to the car, and glued the operator to the turret. It took a bit of sanding because the metal, uh, metal bits won't actually fit in place, so that was a bit difficult, yeah. So at the end, I only had uh, four main pieces to work with. And uh, yeah, I started off with a, the under tray with platter silver and bright bronze. So right off the bat, I completely missed something. The wheels actually had brick drums and I missed it. So basically, if you see, if you look in the video, I actually glued the uh, wheels randomly. It's a horrible, horrible mistake that I can't fix. My warthogs are forever weirdly brick drummed. Anyway, um, everything was primed negro black by airbrush and then they were based with a uh, goblin green mixed with uh, blanco white before painting. I dislike pure black, so when you see me use black in the video, you actually see me use heavy charcoal. It's particularly useful in this case because it actually looks like the rubber uh, on cars. Otherwise, I used a mix of greens, uh, uh, blended blacks and silver to accent different parts of the Warthog. I used hot orange for the brake lights and as you'll see later on. So um, what I what I what I appreciate for this miniature was what was uh, with the turrets. So while the turrets are supposed to be glued on, I had a better idea. I basically hollowed out the turret seat with a drill, and then I used neodymium magnets on both ends so that the turret would sit nicely on the base. That meant that it became detachable and rotatable. It took some trial and error to ensure that the magnets were aligned and also that they were not too shallow or not too deep because that way the turret won't connect and it worked out great in the end. So the driver and turret operator were a bit too small for me to get the details onto so I'm a bit embarrassed to admit that I just slathered paint on them and I just it was just done with it. Anyway, once all the parts were done, I put on noun oil on the metal, Athonian camo shade on the green and then Agrax a shade on the humans. And that's the process. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching.